Please stand for prayer and pledge. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who instructs the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I love getting up in the morning. I clap my hands and say, this is going to be a great day. Good morning, Panthers. I'm Morgan Meredith. Today is Friday, December 4th. In case you haven't heard, the November 50-50 raffle has come to an end with a prize of $302.50. Yesterday, Aiden and Dominic chose the winner, and the winner is Rick Jeffrey. Congratulations, Rick Jeffrey, and thank you for everything you do for SMCC. Ready? Action! What's going on, guys? I'm Anderson. I'm coming at you guys with a Panther Sports update. The swim team traveled to Port Clinton this Tuesday as Mason Blank, Dan Jerky, and David Grant all won one of their individual events. Those three, alongside Jackson Dinsmore, combined to come in first place in the 4x1. Hope to see another state run from the swim team this year. The, the girls basketball team had had a tough week with the absence of junior guard Britton Cromer. They, and and they, they've, they've struggled, but they've kept it close in most of their games. But they are still struggling to find their first win. And apparently BCSN loves going to their games, so expect to see them on TV again soon. The boys basketball team successfully defeated Perkins 71-63. to it was, a, it, was a, it was a thriller last Friday, let me tell you. The Panthers were led by junior postman Aiden Kresser, shooting 100% from the field, as well, as well as Ashton Groff with a whopping one rebound. Yeah. The boys team is back in action tonight versus Hopewell Loud, at Hopewell Loudon. So, I mean, I would say come to the game, but one, it's far, and two, you can't get tickets. And, um... Then we play Margareta the next day, so hopefully we'll end up being 3-0. and And BCSN, if you want your views to go up, come to the boys' game. I'm Maddie, and welcome back to the Good Morning Panther Pop Culture segment. This past week, Grammy nominations were finally released, and people were not happy. Artists who had a breakout year were not even nominated. The people like The Weeknd, Travis Scott, Harry Styles all got no nominations, and people were furious. In the past, artists like Kanye West and Drake have both protested the Grammys, but this year I feel like there's going to be even more people protesting. <laughs> In other news, Mike Tyson returned to boxing this week against a match with Roy Jones Jr. But let's be honest, this match was a flop. The match everyone was talking about the next day was the Jake Paul-Nate Robinson fight. This match stole the show. Jake Paul absolutely dominated Nate Robinson. He knocked him out cold. It was, it was bad for Nate Robinson. But let's, after the fight, Jake Paul called out Conor McGregor. And I'm going to be honest, Jake, that was a bad move. Conor McGregor would absolutely destroy you. And I mean, like, absolutely destroy you. They would have to arrest Conor McGregor for what he would do to you after the fight. It would be bad. I'm just going to let you know that right now. It would be bad. It would be bad. <laughs> Don't forget about Battle of the Boxes. It's going on right now, and it ends December 11th. If you bring more than one box in, you'll earn extra points for your house. Make sure you check the combo website for extra information about what age you have and where to drop off your box at. Another house activity going on is decorating house Christmas trees, so make sure you stay tuned with what you need to bring in for your house and have the best tree. That's all the announcements for today. Are, uh, are you going to notice that joke of the day, uh, it got censored this week. It was, it, was, it was pretty good. I don't know. Um, but if you haven't noticed, it's kind of the joke that like I don't really want to do joke of the day. So this week I was uh, roped to a chair. I'll show you. I was roped to this chair. And they had duct tape over my mask, which I'm sure you will realize that doesn't really work like duct tape does. Um, and then they ripped it off and I was crying and they hit me with a stick and I told the joke. 
Um, the joke is already bad enough that we're not even going to try to make it like funny in any other way. So I'm just going to tell the joke and hopefully you get it. Because apparently last week's was uh, not taken so well. So what uh, is an icicle's favorite movie? I don't snow. That's joke of the day. You're not getting anything better from me. That's it. Hi, I'm Ashton Groff, and for today's hot take, I wanted to talk about how females are ten times more picky than guys are when it comes to when it comes to finding a significant other. And guys always draw the short end of the stick when a relationship ends, and they always seem to get blamed. Like a hypothetical situation would be a football player dating this girl, right? And she breaks up with him because he doesn't spend any time with her. And while he's trying to manage school and being a high school senior and football two-a-days, he's got his boss's expectations, his teacher's expectations, his parents' expectations, and his coach's expectations all piling on top. And before he can even worry about himself and try and make himself happy, he's got to go and take care of his girlfriend who always seems to be bothering him about something new. <laughs> preach, Ashton, preach! <laughs> Woo! I can't... I guess you could say I have a pretty biased opinion because I'm a 17, almost 18 year old senior from St. Mary's High School who is very funny, handsome, smart, caring, really cool, and really cool. <laughs> that would be my Christian Mangle account if I had a part. Hey guys, I'm Azar Lynch and welcome back to Letters to Good Morning Panther, where we answer all of our fan mail and any questions you might have. If you'd like to ask us a question, make sure you send us an email at gmp at sanduskycc.org. That's gmp at sanduskycc.org. As per usual, we have received another ton of letters this week. No, quite literally. I had to have a couple of the guys help me roll them in. Anyways, let's get to reading some of these. Here's one of the heartfelt letters from one of our viewers. Dear Good Morning Panther, what would you do if when you okay, so he said yes would go? Sign too confused. Your answer is probably yes, but I suggest taking some quick grammar lessons before anything else. Um, anyways. Dear Good Morning Panther, is Dominic okay? He seemed a little off in last week's news. Sign concern. Yeah, Dominic's totally fine. I don't know what you're talking about. He loves his job, loves his boss. He's completely fine. Dear Good Morning Panther, I have this crazy elf at home that watches me day and night. I'm starting to have nightmares. Do you have any suggestions on how to help me get through the next couple of weeks? Sign, Scared of the Elf. Scared of the Elf, I promise he's not going to hurt you or harm you in any way possible. Just put on your best behavior in front of him. You should be fine. Anyways, that's it for this week's letters. And if you'd like to send us some more, Email us at gmp at sanduskycc.org. Good morning, Panthers. I'm Koopa Baroni, and I will be doing my best to bring you super trivia this morning. Now, I know you're expecting to see Kate Milky this morning, but she's out with a doctor's appointment. We all know how that goes. Never fear, though. She'll be back next week to bring you the best super trivia treat you'll ever have in your life. Now let's get to it. Now remember, the call extension 445. When you think you have the answer. Now remember, teachers, there's no cheating, there's no cell phones, no, no nothing. But personally, I don't care if you cheat. But I got told to tell you not to. Now, let's get to the question. Which of the eight major islands in Hawaii is currently uninhabited? That's it. That's the question. And call extension 445 when you got the answer. And you can win this bad boy.